There's a place in the hills west of Tokyo I keep going back to. It's the art-filled town of Fujino. The sense of community and emphasis on an environmentally friendly and handcrafted lifestyle draws me in. I would like to introduce you to the charm of Fujino and take you to some of my favourite spots. Fujino is a great place to come to for a long weekend in nature. And there is a variety of fun places to stay, from camping to kominka. Whenever we take the trip to Fujino, we eat at the same restaurant for lunch. And in my opinion, it's the best Korean food in Japan. And just look at that location. You can't help enjoy the food when you have such a great view. The restaurant is called Hyakusho no Dai Dokoro, or the Kitchen of a Hundred Laughs. It's more than just a kitchen. You can stay in one of the many accommodations they have. They also show local artists in their gallery and in the main restaurant. You can buy products from local producers and from companies with environmentally sound standards. It's also a place that you can bring family and play music or games. It is a community space. The owner told me it took him 10 years to build this restaurant and he is still adding and improving his offering even now. He also told me how important it was for him to provide healthy, locally grown food the ingredients for his dishes have been grown at his own farm in Fujino. He has created something very special here and we feel at home whenever we come to eat. It's also interesting to see the different installations in the gallery each time. I love seeing how the community is brought together in this space. When we come, we make sure to try all the dishes available and share them out between our family. The boys love it here as much as we do. Not only are the vegetables fresh and locally grown and delicious, but the eggs are from the chicken coop in the courtyard outside. We usually visit them after our meal. The views from the restaurant are absolutely stunning and it's an overall friendly and tranquil space. Fujino seems to pride itself in handmade products 
with his businesses run by very individual artists and creators. The buildings that they practice from also are made by hand and are very individual in style. There are a small number of cob houses dotted around Japan and a couple of them are in Fujino. This one is a gallery built by volunteers instructed by Mark Ermakora and Teru Kutsuna. I have seen the installations in here change. Currently, there are pots made by local artisans. Previously, there was an art installation of musical chairs. The curves in a cob building are so pleasing to me. Also, they are generally very textured, much like my own art. I would love to try making one myself one day. But for now, I like to visit this one and feel the cooler, less humid temperatures inside. This place is on the grounds of a woodworking and furniture shop called BC Kobo Fujino Living Art Gallery. They produce some interesting one-off furniture pieces and also sell local artists' work. Finding interesting chairs is a bit difficult in Japan, but this place has loads of them. They can work with you to design something special for your home. Handmade homes are all around Fujino. This one is another that we like to visit. The couple here built their house and ranch with a fun play space for barbecues and horse riding. They love America and have recreated elements of an American ranch life in Japan. The owners are once again incredibly welcoming and make us feel at home whenever we come to visit. The atmosphere of this place is unlike anywhere else I've been to in Japan. They really have personalised their home and business down to every detail and have created a lifestyle for themselves. Our kids love it here also because they get to play with the animals and their outdoor toys. Fujino has a workshop where you can book art experiences. Also nearby, there are a group of tiny shops selling products made by local artists.
Each tiny space has a different vibe, selling clothes, woodwork, leatherwork and jewellery. There are many things to do and see in Fujino, including an art walk of outdoor sculptures. It's a place that more people should know about and holds a special place in my heart. I will always remember how unique it is here and how the locals have formed such a lovely community to celebrate art and locally produced products. you'll take the time to visit Fujino one day and enjoy it as much as I do.